So how to refer a PI patient out as a chiropractor to a medical doc without getting your bill cut? This is a common question that we get. Many doctors out there are very uh, hesitant, let's say, depending on what state they practice in, to refer a patient out that's been in an auto accident because of PIP limits, med pay limits, uh, even substandard policy limits depending on your state. In some states you can pop that policy, uh, in other states you can't, and that will cap how much that that insurance, auto insurance company is gonna pay out on that case. So regardless of where you practice, to be frank, my issue is, is you're taking a short-term outlook when you are worried about maximizing the policy and your payment on one case, right? Ultimately, you need to do what's best for the patient and you're gonna do that. And the way to do that and to treat PI right is to make sure that you're diagnosing everything in the documentation, but also referring out to those other healthcare providers with the established network that you should set up in order to do PI right so that everybody's playing a part in not only the treatment, but also the documentation and the building of that case where it's necessary. Specialists are gonna be crucial, especially given so many of the catastrophic auto uh, motor vehicle accidents that we see on a day to day. So again, it's super important that you take a long-term outlook and understand that while you may take a reduction, while you get may get paid less, on one or two cases, the vast majority of the time, when you're doing PI right, you're gonna get more volume. You're gonna be the go-to, you're setting the stage. The number one complaint we hear from chiropractors who have this question is, well, I don't wanna treat and only be paid X amount of dollars per visit on that case if the patient went to the hospital, if they had an, uh, an ER visit, an ambulance ride, went to their primary care doc, et cetera. Truthfully, a lot of that is gonna be out of your hands. Maybe you can tap into health insurance if they have it, uh, again, it's going to depend on policy limits, but ultimately you need to position yourself as the expert, as the go-to, as the quarterback, as the person in your community who understands how to do PI right. The number one complaint that we hear from attorneys in many cities is that they send a patient to a chiropractor and that PI patient literally will sit there for months sometimes without any diagnostic testing and without any specialist consults when needed. Look, if a patient's doing extremely well with chiropractic care alone, great. We're gonna make sure that we treat them conservatively, we're gonna close out that case and we're gonna move on. But on a bell curve, when you map out X number of uh, auto accidents, there's a huge percentage that are gonna need other healthcare providers involved given the accident physics, the trauma, the pathology that we see. And if you are not positioned and if you don't have those uh, medical docs and that healthcare network set up, those attorneys aren't gonna wanna do volume with you. It's their job. They're spending a ton of money uh, on the cost per acquisition for Google AdWords, for billboards, you know, for TV spots, and all the other marketing that they do. And it's, it's very expensive. In fact, it's some of the most expensive in the country, depending on what city you're in, for these attorneys to bring in new leads. And if you want the legal community to really respect what you do and to understand the value that you bring, you need to treat the PI patients correctly. And in order to treat them correctly, in some cases, you're gonna have to refer them out to other healthcare providers to co-manage that case. I mean, we see it all the time, shoulder pathology, cervical pathology, lumbar issues, where conservative care is helping, but maybe it's not making the amount of significant progress that we would like. We send that patient out for an MRI, we have significant, uh, let's say, disc issues, or we send them out for x-ray with CRMA analysis, we'll have non-disc ligament issues, you know, and every other type of pathology that you're gonna see, and you need those resources so that an attorney or any other, not, let's stick with the attorneys, when an attorney refers over to you, they understand that you know what you're doing, you're gonna do right by the patient, you're gonna build that case properly, and you are gonna distribute that patient to what other, what other healthcare providers they need in order to really maximize the treatment value, which is gonna maximize the settlement value. So again, don't take a short-term outlook on this. I understand it can be frustrating when you don't get paid that dollar amount per visit that you want on one or two PI cases, but again, you need to look at the big picture globally over time once you start to do more volume you understand how to do pi right 
you're getting referrals from multiple places, the number of new PI patients you're getting rises, and then you can start to statistically analyze where you're at with that per patient visit average. So I hope you found this helpful. My name is Dr. Colarco. Go ahead and check us out at PIExpertSecrets.com. We have a lot of valuable information there for you.